Uh, please just start by explaining what on earth this shade ball is and how it works to, prevent, to protect our reservoirs. Well, it's a four inch polyethylene, as you said, um, ballasted orb. It's ballasted with potable water and then hermetically sealed. Uh, as you see, there's millions of them in the reservoir at this point, and in conjunction, they float together to uh, eliminate the sunlight or mitigate, I should say, because there is a little bit of circulation, um, uh, eliminating uh, water evaporation and, as you stated, the algae bloom and, and potential bromide. Yeah, really interesting. Uh, why are they black? It would seem to me that black is the exact wrong color if you want to uh, not heat the water and uh, keep the water from evaporating. I'm glad you asked that question. I have probably been asked and I'm uh, about 2,000 times already because um, it is something of uh, uh, not necessarily a concern, but people are interested. The four inch sphere uh, and the black color uh, were chosen for many reasons, not the least of which is the longevity of the product. Um, uh, white, for example, would uh, deteriorate at a much faster rate. Uh, you see a significant decline in the tensile strength within the first eight months where 10-year lifespan for the black material um, is not uncommon and probably on the low end. Secondarily, there is a space, an air space in the product between the ballast and the surface of an arced ball. So that too, um, uh, the temperature differential is minimum. So there's a laundry list of things that went into the selection and that is but a few of them. Uh, but Sydney, the balls are made out of plastic. Isn't plastic bad for the environment? You, um, polyethylene is a very, very safe uh, material. Um, the material. The plastics that you're hearing about are the propylenes and the PET materials. Polyethylene doesn't have any of those issues, such as the BPAs or material leaching into the water. Um, the product goes through the NSF 61 approvals process in use for drinking water. So um, there are a lot of stringent tests and, and um, uh, um, other uh, factors that are utilized in the, one, the selection of the material, and two, the safety of the material. It's extremely safe for this project. All right, so Sydney, talk to me about the sales process. To whom do you sell these things? There are so many overlapping water authorities in California, regional authorities, state authorities mm -hmm. have supervision over some local authorities, and sometimes they don't. Uh, how do you sell this? Mm -hmm. How do you find out who to sell this to? And are you displacing any kind of incumbents that have something uh, similar kinds of businesses? There are similar kinds of businesses. Our product might go in competition with some of those, but uh, our product, because it rises and falls with irregular shaped areas, and the water and, uh, takes to that. Yes. <laughs> so, say your reservoir wasn't completely square. Um, that's where our product comes in and differentiates itself. Um, the end users are incredibly vast. There's agriculture, mining industry, pato petroleum industry. Um, right, but again, uh, but how do you sell treatment but plants? What is, this, what is the sales process? I mean, you go and you sell by the square yard, and you sell. I mean, how, do, how does it work? How do you even find which clients to sell to? Well, first you would target, say, the water municipalities where they're trying to, obviously water evaporation is one of the primary focuses. Um, you might go into the engineering department and start there. You might have a bid process coming out for a different type of product and you would go and pitch your materials to the uh, utility. It's a long process. It's a bit challenging for new technologies um, to take that path. So I'm not going to say that it's easy, especially on new technologies. Um, this may have been around for a while, but um, anytime you're trying to change um, the way things are currently done, it, it is a long, drawn-out process. So we're trying to approach it from many different angles at the same time. Yeah. Uh, Cindy, we're still looking at these videos of the balls pour pouring into a reservoir. So I, I realize that municipal authorities and reservoirs sort of are the biggest clients now. I also hear that these balls suppress smell. Is that a significant opportunity for your company? 
That is, and um, that would be your wastewater treatment plants or anything of that nature that may have uh, that potential problem. But uh, absolutely, that's a good point, and it is an industry that would provide potential opportunities.